ourselves get nice and cozy because today we're going to talk about protecting groups. So let's get started. Okay, guys. Next, we are going to do conversion of alcohols and protecting groups. This is a little bit of Orgo 1 tied in with Orgo 2, mainly Orgo 2, so um, you don't need to get flashbacks from Orgo 1 yet. Okay, so PBR3, PCL3, basically all the guys, all these guys are pretty much synonymous for each other. And this is just an easy way of getting rid of the alcohols to make it into a better leaving group. That's all we're really doing here. And that is the goal. So when we're doing this, you just need to remember the basic things from Oreo 1 with SN2 reactions, because this taking place is an SN2 reaction. So remember, SN2 has inversion. So when we're doing SN2, we like primary, secondary, then tertiary. We do not like bulky things. Bulky things are a no-go. No bulky. Just remember, you see bulky when it comes to PBR3 or any of these, say no and cross them out. So knowing that, let's go on to which alcohol would react the most rapidly with PBR. And just so you guys don't get confused, PBR3. Just in case you guys were like, ooh, there's only one BR. There's three. Okay. So knowing what we know, we already don't like D because this is a tertiary. We don't like bulky. Bye-bye. So now we are left with two primaries and one secondary. Remember, primary first, secondary, then tertiary. So secondary is out of here. So the difference between A and B, take a look at it. One of them has the methyl group closer to it, and the other has a methyl group further away. We don't like bulky things. Bulky things messes with our inversion. So choose the one that says bye-bye bulky, which is A. A is a very happy person because it is not going to have anything in its way when it decides to not be an alcohol anymore. So our answer for this one is A. OK. so. Something new is something called protecting groups. I do not believe this is an Orgo 1. I believe this is just Orgo 2, but my brain does mix a lot of things up. So. <laughs> so basically, the purpose of a protecting group is to be able, sorry for my horrible handwriting, to be able to keep or change stereochemistry. This is mainly used in lab, um, but you just need to know how the basic reaction works and what stuff you would use to um, keep or change the stereo chemi chemistry. Sorry, I get my words mixed up. Okay, so basically you're going to see an alcohol, you're going to place a protecting group on that alcohol, and depending on what that protecting group is, you will either invert or not. So. These are two main ones, tosylate and mesylate. As the amazing Rosemary has told me, the way to remember the difference between tosylate and mesylate is remember mesylate, like methyl, is going to be our smaller group here. Tosylate will be this big ugly thing. And yes, that is exactly what it looks like when it gets bonded where the alcohol is. It's going to look like this or like this. They do the exact same thing. They will not invert the first time, but the end product will end up being inverted. So this is tosylate. Don't let this scare you. That just means this. That is all that is. I remember I got to the exam and I was like, oh my God, what is this big thing here? And then I'm like, that's just tosylate. No need to freak out. So, like we said, tosylate's gonna go in. Let me see if I could, like, can I copy this? I can. Okay. Whoops. Okay, so tosylate's gonna go in and attach itself up here. Let me, whoops. Tosylate's gonna come in and put itself here, like that. There's tosylate. It did not invert anything yet, but. When this iodine comes in to react with this, it is going to, I'm just going to draw this out because it'll probably 
not take as long because I do not do well with technology. It is going to kick off that toss late and invert. And now it's going to be the opposite. So it started out dashed and now it's wedged. If you really don't wanna go through the middle step, you don't really have to. Just remember if you have toss late or mesolate, if whatever you have in the beginning will be inverted at the end. And it's always going to be the one bonded to, usually you're gonna have sodium there. Sodium is a spectator, so iodine is what's gonna be added on. Okay. There are different protecting groups like PBR3 that we dealt with earlier. PBR3, as you can see, first flipped it and then put it back. So if you wanna skip the middle step, just remember when you see PBR3 or any of those other protecting groups, the end result, the stereochemistry is going to stay the same. Mesylate and tosylate, like I said, if you wanna skip the middle part, just know that it's going to invert at the end. So if you really don't wanna do the middle step, just remember it that way. PBR3 protecting groups stay the same at the end. Mesylate and tosylate, going to invert. And if you guys have any questions about that, feel free to email me. If not, you know, practice problems, that's all I can say. Okay, guys, so now let's just do a really quick practice, uh, practice problem. So we're just going to match the correct reagents to each reaction. Okay, so as you guys can see, wedged, wedged. Which protecting groups let us stay the same? Was it the mesylate and tosylate, or was it our PBR3? For all the people that said PBR3, you are 100% correct. This one is B. And that means this one is A because we are going from wedged to dashed. And I'm serious, a question can be as easy as this. So be sure to just remember, you know, PBR3 stays the same, mesylate, tosylate, invert.